hello and welcome to my channel please like share and subscribe if you like this video and thank you all so much for watching thank you thank you thank you to my day ones twos and threes thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in that means well thank you so very much i appreciate you all and welcome 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 this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only so everything is alleged so i must not and the fair act use is in my description box, y'all. So, let's get to it, y'all. Let's get to it, y'all. I hope everybody is having a wonderful day. Please stay safe and all that good stuff. Stay aware of your surroundings. And watch the company that you keep, y'all. You have to. You have to. Do y'all see what happened this weekend? Oh, my goodness. So many hittings took place. And now Mozzie... I guess they say it was an after party or something like that, y'all. <sighs> after party, concert, something like that. But um, do y'all remember me talking about Mozzie, y'all? I want y'all to think about something before we get into the story about what just took place, okay? In Wichita, Kansas. Um, I got a lot of messages from people from Kansas. When I was doing it, my day ones, twos, and threes, y'all remember this. I was like, um, during the time that Dolph had got hit up, and, you know, everybody was talking about, you know, I had put up a video just playing around, but then so many people had just started, you know, from diddy, different cities and states, started sending me, you know, um, CMG is not welcome here, CMG is not welcome here, y'all remember that? Well, um, this was one of the places that um, they had some love for Dolph, y'all. Okay, I'm going to just put that out there. They had some love for Dolph there. I got a lot of messages from, from there. And I, it, I'm it, i not surprised. A lot of people are surprised. A lot of people are tripping like, you know, and feeling like, you know, why is, you know, rappers, all the rappers being targeted. But I want you to pay attention to the circle of the rappers that's being targeted right now, y'all. That circle is, just think of the people that concerts just got hit up. Same circle of people. And I, and I, I told y'all, I carried this story. I covered this story um, a while back. My day ones, twos, and threes. I was talking about how, you know, um, Lavish D and um, Mozzie was beefing. And I was talking about how La Lavish D is signed or something to Mob Ties. Remember that, y'all? And then I told y'all that, you know, Mozzie is signed to CMG. And a lot of people were sending me messages because they were worried about Mozzie, y'all. They were worried about him. And they were, you know, him just signing to CMG alone, people were worried about him. And then he went to jail, you know, right after he signed. He went to jail for a while. Okay, y'all? They say he'd been in there, what, 10 months or something like that? And he just got out this year. So um, things don't change just because you went away for a little while and you come out. It's even heated more now than ever before. Okay? Bodies are still dropping for Dolph, y'all. Bodies. And this is what, when people were sending me, y'all can go back and pull up my Mozzie videos. People were sending me, you know, messages saying that they were worried about him. And I was like, well, um, he's a grown man. You have to worry about yourself before everybody else got to keep worrying about you. You know what I'm saying, y'all? And when you sign with labels that's mixed up in, um, you know, rumors that's saying that they are putting bags on people and stuff like that then you have to take on their burden. You, They look at you just like they look at CMG. So this is why I don't understand why people don't be more careful, you know, the places where they're going to. Because these places that you might be going to, people are just showing up there to do what they're doing. Okay, y'all? Because of the fact that you're tied into it or your name is tied to CMG and all of this stuff, y'all. Now, it could just be a coincidence but it also could be the fact that, you know, it is, you know, a holiday weekend. And Hiddens is taking place all over the place, y'all, right now. They are. Hiddens are taking place everywhere right now. But it, I just find it odd that Boosie, um, Finesse Two Times, Glorilla, Mozzie, um, it's the same circle of people. CMG, Mob Taz, Boosie, Empire. 
same circle of people that I have been talking about for a while. Same circle of people. And every time their artist now is going somewhere, it's some drama going on. And then I just spoke about, you know, uh, Finesse Two Times Girlfriend get into it with Gloss Up. It's a lot of beefing going on right now in their inner circle. It, it, it amazes me that a lot of these artists, they signed up with um, these labels thinking that, oh, this, and, and they get over there and they're wearing a chain and this is our family and this and that and that and this. And they're beefing within each other. And then there's rumors now, okay, since CEO TZ was taken out and um, things that's been going the way they've been going, a lot of people is feeling like, um, and what, what's the other guy's name? Snooty Well. A lot of people is feeling like, you know, um, to be tied to CMG and them, y'all, to be tied to them right now, it means you're part of the family for a minute, and then you're the target. And remember when I was talking about liquidation time, okay? We're coming up to liquidation time, y'all. So they have to um, have things going on with these rappers, you know, and, and it has to be a pattern to make it look as if, you know, it's not them. The people that could be lining this stuff up. They, if it keep happening, then they're, you know, they're acting like this happens all the time. This is why this person was taken out. But in reality, there's a liquidation going on. You know, go go Google Mozzie right now and pull up his record labels. You're going to see Empire. You're going to see CMG. If anything happens, they get a payout. No matter what, they're going to get a payout, y'all. Okay? So I want y'all to pay attention. I keep telling y'all July is going to be a really, really crazy month so y'all be careful in july right now um there were and i'm working on that other video y'all but there were um things coming up you know pictures posts popping up saying that it was going to be halloween in july okay and i mentioned the other day on another video i was talking about the purge we are in the purge um season right now we are in the purge season and it's not going to be like on the movies. Somewhat. Okay? It's a day on the movies. But this year is almost, the next couple of months, is going to be the worst purge ever. So it's not going to be too smart, y'all, to just be hanging out on the streets, in crowds, and going to everything that everybody's given right now. Because it's a lot going on this summer. They said they found some, wait, some grenades or something in Memphis. I think it was Memphis or Dallas, Houston, one of them, one of those. But I think it was Memphis. They found some grenades, y'all, in the hood. So be careful, y'all. Be very, very careful right now. I am not surprised. Now, they said that he was arrested after nine people is in a hospital. Okay, y'all? Word on the street. They said something like nine people in a hospital or something like that, or nine people got hit up. Um, this is crazy, y'all, that people are still going to these, these big events with the same people that's in the same circle. And every time, it's like people going just to be on the news now and hope that they don't get picked as the one that catch one. Okay, y'all, this is how you're looking at these younger generations right now. Like, are y'all serious? Why not just not go? Not go, y'all. I know these y'all favorite artists and stuff like this, but at the same time, is it worth your life, y'all? You have to, y'all. Is it worth your life? They said that in the parking lot, well, not in the parking lot. Well, I guess in the parking lot because this is where all the hidden took place. Somebody just rode through the parking lot. When everybody, I guess after the whatever, the after party or whatever it was, the concert, 
somebody drove through the parking lot and was just lighting people up. This is what makes me think that the fact that um, it could have been CMG related. I'm just saying, y'all. Because they have love for Dolph there. That would make sense that somebody would just come through and they don't care who they hit. Because people feel like if you if you even go into their, their concerts, you are target. You like them? Okay, you can go with them. Y'all see what I'm saying? This is, could be why somebody rolled through the park a lot. Just my personal opinion. Is this tied to this mess? And I want y'all to think about something else, okay? Sometimes bloggers, you know, have, you know, their ops. And they are mention certain things on their page and then things happen. Things happen. Okay, y'all? If they're if bloggers are tied in like that, I'm talking about big time bloggers, not you know, small bloggers, but big, big, big bloggers. Okay? Um, if bloggers can do this, y'all don't think a celebrity can say a certain thing and bring some drama? I'm just saying, y'all, okay? There is some serious stuff going on right now, okay? serious and um mozzie is going to be a money maker he is going to be a money maker for cmg if if he lives to make that money so y'all don't think people are trying to take him out get him out the way don't put no more money in god in your god in them pockets that's what i'm talking about your god in them pockets take out his top artists but see, this don't make a difference to your Gotti now. Their heart is cold, y'all, okay? They sign these artists knowing that what's going to come with these artists. Look at little Glorilla. Her, her little concerts get, well, her big concerts getting hit up, y'all. She all over the place. The awards, the this and the that and the that. She's so happy. But do you think she's not a target? She is, y'all. Because she's tied to CMG now. And this is what comes with that. And it's fine that, you know, her family and everybody's so proud and this and that and that and this. It is. And, and y'all see how messy her concerts has been. People throwing stuff on her. All kind of stuff, okay? <laughs> Security guards getting fired for nothing because they he shouldn't have got fired from what I see, saw it is going down right now and I just think that there's more to come that this is just a start of what's to come a lot of these artists are about to from this month onward are going to be getting into it with people just out of the blue stuff and i think that I, I do believe some of this stuff is not staged that they you know he they're playing along with this no but i think somebody is making sure that these chain of events continue continue on so that when they do get taken out y'all it's going to look as if oh this is what that lifestyle is about and brushed under the rug and then everybody get paid off of their insurance policies okay y'all they get their money back and then some. And on to the next. I told you I never understood why CMG and Mob Ties, they're close. CMG now members and Mob Ties members are very close. So why in the world would they sign two Sacramento artists that's beefing with each other? And they still don't get along? Why would they do that? Unless and it was, okay, sooner or later, one going to take out the other. Or either take each other out at the same time. They've done that. People have done that, too, in the rap world. And then both sides get paid. Empire get paid. Mob Ties get paid. CMG get paid. I told y'all, this, this is a chain to me of events. That um, this is how they line each other up. They sit there and they act like they all family and this and that. And, and a lot of these people, it's just like they did Mo3. Remember, the Truman Show kept coming up with these rappers. They're living in the Truman Show. Once they sign these these deals. It's just like Finesse Two Tap. Do y'all really think, and y'all, I want y'all to answer this in the comment section. Do y'all really think that Finesse Two Times can trust 
J. Prince Jr. and them. The people that he called family running around here. Do y'all really think that? Because I don't think so. But y'all let me know in the comment section what y'all think. Do you all think that um, Finesse Two Times can trust them? And when they are out in the public, they want to act like, oh, they family this and they family that. Finesse Two Times, to me, is living in the Truman Show. Right now. He's living in the Truman Show, and he don't even see it coming. He don't see it coming. He beef one minute online with, you know, J. Prince Jr. and him, and then the next minute they act like they family again. It's all a play, y'all. It's all a play. He is living in the Truman Show right now. This is why I keep telling y'all, you cannot, you know, he signed up for this when he took that money. Mozzie signed up for this when he took that money and decided to go over there with CMG. Because I, to me, I don't even think he needed CMG. I think Mozzie could have did it on his own. He could have did some Dolph stuff. That's what I see, I first seen for him. Like Mozzie, his type, like, it just would make sense for him to, you know, do it himself. Get his own people. You know what I'm saying? Don't be surrounded by all these snakes. For a check. Okay, y'all? Then they ended up, you know, paying this money to these guys the rest of their life. Or if they pay them back and they try to buy their self out, back out their own contract with these artists. Or they concert, you know, their contract is almost up. They end up getting taken out, y'all. A lot of weird stuff going on right now, but <sighs> liquidation time. I keep telling y'all, they sign so many, get them that little money they give them, and, and they are pumping. And I'm gonna tell y'all something about somebody that they pump up really, really big. This is going to be one of their biggest payouts. Somebody that they pump up, they're gonna get more money back off of that person than they than anybody else that's on their roster. I want y'all to pay attention to something, okay? Uh, I want y'all to pay attention to Glorilla, y'all. Now, a lot of us know she she's okay. She's okay. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> I ain't finna sugarcoat nothing, y'all. She's okay, okay? Um, For what they, you know, people won't listen to a fact. But do y'all think that she is what they're pumping her up to act like she is? Should she, you know, is she the rapper of the decade? I'm just saying, y'all, is she y'all? From what y'all have heard down all through the years of rappers that have came out. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. Is she all that they're pumping her up to be? I'm just saying, y'all. Ask yourself this question. When, they, when you got an artist that winning awards and this and that and that and this, Think about Jamie Foxx with all the awards and all this stuff. You can put them in a bigger insurance policy. They're worth more money the higher up they go. She got all these awards. So when he first signed her, he could have put her in a mediocre insurance policy. But now that she has leveled up, and she's winning these awards and see she's all over the place. And I mean she's she's filling shows, so uh, some a lot of seats in these shows, okay? You can double up, triple up, quadruple up, y'all, on that insurance policy now. Do y'all understand how this goes? It doesn't matter about the lawsuits and the this and the that. They don't care, the label don't care y'all that people is getting hit up at these concerts they don't care if the artists to me my personal opinion they don't care if these artists get hit up because they're going to get the biggest payout all at once their money back and then some what did he give her five hundred thousand something like that when he signed her i think that's what um cmg gave glorilla what if she's in a 10 million dollar insurance policy right now y'all do y'all understand do y'all understand the flip? This this flip is not nothing like the hood flip, okay? When you go grab something and flip it. 
this music industry flip is major, y'all. It's major. And this is why I say I can't keep feeling sorry for artists. And a lot of people was it really in their feelings about Mozzie. Seriously. I got a lot of people on my page that love them some Mozzie, y'all. But if they don't love themselves, what can you do? You can't just be out here. People really be sad about these artists. I had people that was reaching out to me about Chris Brown. Like, I'm so worried about Chris Brown. These are grown people making their own decisions for money and fame. So if they don't care about the stuff that's going on and whatever they who they sign into, if they don't care about this, why should we care about it, y'all? I just reported. But just sitting back getting depressed and sad at home because your favorite artist, I'm happy and this and that and this. Y'all gonna have a lot of sad days. I just wanna discuss it. That's it. I don't I don't, you know. Y'all have to think. You make decisions for your family. They're making these type of decisions for theirs. And it is what it is, y'all. Okay? Mozzie knew what he was getting into when he signed with CMG. He knew all the rumors that was going around. that, And it ain't really rumors because every single time somebody tried to take Dolph out. Y'all, every single time. Gazi name came up. I mean, not Gazi. Yo Gotti. Gazi too came up every single time. And Mozzie was saying he signed to both. He signed to Gazi and he signed to CMG now. Two peaked two organizations that's allegedly tied to Dolph's demise too. They got paid off of Dolph. Or dropped the bag on Dolph. Allegedly. I was just joking around when I was like, you are not welcome here. CMG is not welcome here. Everybody starts sitting. He ain't welcome here either, Miss Lowdown. He ain't welcome. I start getting messages all over the world. <laughs> that they are not welcome there either. So is this what's going on right now, y'all? They're letting them know where they're not welcome at? This is what I see. I don't know about everybody else. But is this what they're saying? You're not welcome here. When you're on your way to your car from an event, and somebody come through the parking lot and just start lighting up the parking lot... And the weird part about it was they arrested guy, um, this guy right here, Mozzie. They arrested Mozzie. Now, he could be out by now. I'm not sure. I haven't seen nothing yet that say he was out yet. But it's a possibility that he's out. Because they say he didn't, you know, he didn't do anything. They said his security guard was hanging out the window with a, you know, weapon. But, um, that was it. Because y'all know they be on him about having, you know, weapons. He is definitely one that can't have no weapon. So he got to have some security wherever he go. He cannot have a weapon on him. He will go right back to jail. And this is one of those um, things that I was telling y'all about. Um, they pass all these laws about people this, people that, but why certain people can't have weapons and they need it? Mozzie is one of those people. To me. Mozzie is one of those people that, you know, if you're out, you definitely need to, need to be able to carry something to protect yourself. Laws need to get changed, y'all. In a better way. Because a lot of these rappers, I think, are, you know, um, even though a lot of them deserve it, you know what I'm saying? A lot of them deserve that they can't carry stuff, but a lot of them they should be able to carry. When you are going from, you know, um, to these concerts and you're they're out in the public, their lives are in danger. And if you ain't out here in your past, you haven't been out here, you know, 
pulling nothing on nobody, you know, um, bribing somebody, taking somebody's life for no reason. Um, I don't understand why that's taken away. You know, it would be really nice to get some um, politicians in that do some stuff that will help the communities instead of make things worse. Because right now, this is all that's going on, y'all. They're making stuff worse, okay? But anyway, you know, um, prayers up for the people that got hit up at this, you know, after party or concert. Prayers up. Hope everybody makes it through, but y'all got to learn. Stop putting, you know, playing Russian roulette with your lives. Just for, you know, a night of a good time. I'm just saying, y'all. Just to go visit, see somebody. That's name is all tied up in some stuff. Now, no doubt, it's probably people there that was his fans. But what about the people that wasn't? That just showed up there just so they can um, remind CMG now that you are not welcome here. That's all I'm saying, y'all. And then you got the innocent bystanders that get hit up that... Because it's a lot of fans that hit it up. They don't keep up with the stories that's going on with some artists. I'm I'm starting to notice that. A lot of people don't keep up and their kids do not keep up with, you know, um, some of the artists, what they're into and what they're doing, who they sign with and the rumors. Some people just look at these artists as, I like his music. So you're going to have some innocent people through in there too that don't, you know, some people is into their books. Some people's into video games. Some people's into all, all kind of stuff. Some people got a bunch of kids, you know, they trying to keep up with, you know, it's a lot of reasons why some people just don't sit on the internet and keep up with what stuff was going on. So they just a fan and then they like, oh, they coming here. I'm going to see them. But you got to wake up. It's too much going on in the world for you not to keep up with what's going on. It's too much. And, you know, your knowledge of stuff may help save your life because standing next to these guys and even taking a picture with them you are making yourself a target because if they're a target and you're standing next to them you become a target okay y'all but anyway y'all let me get off of this just want to jump on here show my face and say hi to everybody and talk a little bit about this whole little you know incident that just took place um, get ready for a string of more to come. This is going to probably continue until November 11th, y'all. 11-11. Okay? This is the year of the purge. This is what it, it's becoming. Another place um, just had 30 people shot, y'all. I just saw the news and it said 30 people shot. I forgot where it was at. They had some type of block party. And it went from fireworks to, you know, shots ringing out. 30 people got hit up at a block party. So, be careful, y'all. Seriously, be careful. And I, a lot of people feel like um, this stuff is gone. It's not. People still getting sick, y'all. They still getting sick. People still passing away. They're just not talking about it. Okay? So y'all just be careful. I, that's all I can tell y'all. Alright? So please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thanks for watching, y'all. Peace.